Hello, in this video I made Super Hot and Unreal Engine 4 in 48 hours. In the Super Hot game, time moves only when you move, and you have to shoot all the enemies in the level to progress. So, to get started, I created a new project in the first person template as it came with a gun and some shooting mechanics. One of the first things I wanted to create was the enemies. When you shot enemies, I wanted them to shatter in a cool way and have their body parts split up like in this original Super Hot game. One of the ways I thought of doing this was if I get the model and I separate the model into separate parts. And then when I shoot the model with a bullet, I can make those parts separate and fly around to create a cool shatter effect like in Super Hot. So I headed to Sketchfab and I got this low poly model of a human. I rated it with Mixmo and then I took it to Blender where I separated the model into separate parts with its head, its chest, its legs and its arms. And then I took the model into Unreal Engine and I tried to set it up so that when you shot the model, its body part would separate into separate pieces and they would all start simulating physics. At first there were some problems. When I shot the model, it would not separate and it would only start simulating physics on one specific body part such as the model's head or its arms. After a bit of research, I found the problem and I was able to get the whole body to start simulating physics when it was shot, but it still wasn't separating. Next I got to work on trying to make the model separate when it was shot. I encountered some problems in my first couple of attempts, but then in the end, I got it to work. So when you shot the model, its body parts would separate into different pieces, although I wasn't really happy with the final result. And then I realised there was a much easier way of doing this. Instead of having the mesh separate into separate parts when I try it, I could instead make it when you shoot the enemy that the model would turn into a destructible mesh and this destructible mesh would split into many different pieces as this effect looked much cooler and it was also easier. So I made a destructible mesh of the enemy and when you shot the enemy I replaced it with a destructible mesh and it would create a nice cool shatter effect. I wish I had thought of this first, it would have saved me some time but I learned how to separate a model into separate pieces and this could be helpful in a future project. I made it so enemies would always face the player and then I added a nav mesh and made it so that enemies would run towards the player if he was out of range. Now that I'd set up enemies, I changed my player's weapon so it was a low poly pistol. Uh, I got a bullet model and I made a trail particle effect which would follow the bullet when it was fired. Then I set up a cool slow motion effect so time would only move when you moved. There was a quick blueprint in Unreal which made it easy to set this up. Then I made it so you could throw your weapons at enemies and it would also destroy them. When you throw your weapon at an enemy, I also made it so that the enemy's original weapon would chuck back at you and you would have the option to grab and then use and shoot it. Now that I'd set this up, I got to work on making a prototype level. I made everything in the level look white so it looked similar to a super hot level. And then I had finished. Check out this gameplay of me killing all the enemies in the level. That's all for now, I hope you enjoyed watching. If you want the project files and want to support the channel, I recently set up a Patreon and I'll put the project files for the project and other things related to Unreal Engine 4 there. Bye and I'll see you next time.